But you guys, are we boring because we're all in relationships? No, not at all. I had a panic attack the other day. <laughs> why? You didn't tell me this. What'd you do? I told you why. Tell me again. I have 16 guests. We got a wild show today with Hannah Burner. Make sure to buck up and put your tampon in because Hannah Burner is going to be burning it up in here. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe right here. All right, we are here with Hannah Burner. Oh, um, what a relief. What a relief. Honestly. I feel like I had to work. Like, I, I was stressed about having to work today. I had meetings today. I have to do I have to do the dozen. I had to interview. I had to do an interview. But like right now, it feels like I feel like I'm having a break right now because Hannah Burner's here. Oh, I love you guys so it's much. It's effortless. You give me life. Um, Des was very upset he wasn't invited. You could have brought Des. He's crying in a corner right now. Des is come now. She's, she's, in the back she's upset. You can make it up to him in a later time. Paige says hi. Uh, how is Paige Sorbo? She misses you. So her bob's still sharp as a knife. Sharp as a fucking knife. <laughs> but everyone's been cutting their hair now, so I think she should shave her head bald to yeah. get ahead of the game. Does she think she's yes. better than everyone because she has a Panera purse? <laughs> Do you see her acting up? Yes. Do you see her acting up on what that ad? What was she doing acting up? She got chose. She got chose to be the, the, the face of Panera's new um, baguette campaign. Panera bread. Yeah, she has a ba- she has a Fendi baguette purse for any Panera. bread campaign. I'm fucking jealous. Carbs yeah. to the face. That's all I want. But yeah, she looks gorgeous. She's killing it. Look. Uh, she has such incredible facial features. I live vicariously through her. If I had her jawline, my head be shaven right now. Yeah, I'd be like iconic fashion, everything. You get it. Yeah, I'd be the same way. Yeah, so um, she's doing well. We can cut that, right, Marty? <laughs> <laughs> We can get rid of that whole thing. We don't need Paige. She's, she's got this Bravo check still. Maybe, maybe there's a working comic I'm out working. on the road. Oh, Bitch, yeah. I'm on the road. Yeah, look, I'm hustling. I'm talking to these fucking girls. Like, this is a lot of work, okay? Wait, yeah. you're on tour. You're going to a new city every time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys get it. It's, Chop it up. We're called road dogs. Yeah. Yes. You're out here. You're sleeping during the day, performing at night, shooting up, doing whatever you have to do to keep up with the... <laughs> I hear you, sister. <laughs> you ran out with you know. whatever. You're single-handedly keeping the stand nightclub alive. <laughs> yeah. You're the only one that performs there every night. <laughs> we were, where were we Shout out day? to Stan. Shout out to we Stan. Well, she's Stan. like, she's like, she's like, um, like Seinfeld over there. She can, she can walk in on a Friday night and say, so, then everyone will they'll cut the whole this lineup is, so she can walk on. Going, this, we got Burner coming in the we back. We got Burner coming through the back. She wants just, to do a set, try some new stuff out. I get so dramatic. But the hard thing is when people know you're up, like your like fans come, people know you. So yeah. you can't be, you can't try your new stuff as much because you want to make it like the best night for everyone. Yeah. So I've de- been like sneaky coming in, which is kind of funny. <laughs> but the stand is great because it used to be very like, incels like just dudes who like love real comedy yeah. and then I came in and the girlies want to some martinis we want yes. to talk about men gaslighting them we yeah. want to make fun of everything so it's this merge of like incels and like hot successful 30 year old women and I, I love to <laughs> I love to see it happen yeah I love to see the cultures collide I still gotta come over there and see you, you never yeah met? Never been there. I, I tried to get Good. I tried to get tickets for uh, Just Kirsten when she was there. Oh, I love my her. Father, She's amazing. My father loves her, but she was you know. The rich sold out. Was I sold had out. I had mm-hmm. dinner there with Tim Dillon and Haley Sachs about last year, and it was the most food I've ever seen a single human have in front of them. And it was just Tim Dillon. Did people had go there two for, for seafood food? No, so hours. the stand is crazy because yeah. good food. I have cod there. Yeah. I'll have oh, cod before food. my set. Yeah. They have oysters. They have steak. It's the food's ta- good. These Italians run it, so they good. take it fucking yeah. seriously. You well, know? if you're going to eat a, a, a seafood tower, it's got to be better than good. I mean, yeah. this is a man who loves food. I mean, yeah, he's not really gonna, you know. And the waiter came over. He goes, "We need more meat." Like, didn't even tell them what kind, <laughs> the kind of meat. Kind of meat. <laughs> no, just you get, grapes. You got such good TikToks outside the stand. Oh my god! Oh, you thank do such a good job there. I that's, appreciate uh, that's that. Right, that's where I first discovered um, Francis. Francis. Yeah. <laughs> how, much, I was gonna say. how much did he pay you to be on that TikTok? <laughs> yeah. Well, now that we have him, Fran. Here. You know, I think like he's been in the game for a long time, and it was yeah. kind of him doing me a favor to be oh, on please. it. And then the girlies loved him. They thought he was great. I mean, it, in this modern day of comedy, it's like, let's create content wherever we can get, yeah. you know? But you have to take like an upper just to talk to him and have a conversation. He's so monotone. My filming is like, I'll film like three hours in the cold. But you see, Francis, you know, I like to ask him very basic questions and see how he manages to put big words into it. Yes. And very remind me that I'm queen. more poor than him. And it, it turns me on, honestly. Yeah. He gets, he thinks before he speaks, which is something I've never done. I don't, I, I don't understand that. I act on raw emotion. What no. is it like Hunger. to like not spew and word vomit every thought that goes into your head? Do you have yeah. lotion? Um, no, I'm just greasy Italian. Okay. I'm <laughs> you're, very dry. You're I'm ashy. sweaty. I, I, I mean, we're, we're matching tops today. Wait, you guys, are we boring because we're all in relationships? No, not at all. I had a panic attack the other day. 
why? <laughs> you didn't tell me this. What'd you do? I told you why. Tell me again. I have 16 guests oh, Christ. coming over for Easter dinner. <laughs> you are such my an table Italian scapes, grandma. My tablescape, I, I just print, I was printing out a map, like um seating charts. I look over, I thought it was, I is thought it was Is this a wedding? Like, it is one, yeah. I thought it was much. a floor plan for a new like office building in New York. It's his <laughs> no, table. It's my table skate for Easter. The begonias are here. Okay, Joey, now the sea you balls. take on so much because you're so good at so many things. I know. but baby, you're gonna burn out. No, I know. But so this is this is something I'm stressing about. I originally was supposed to have twelve. Now this means I have to add a second table. Then I don't like to stray from the main table. So now I have to have a table of six on the side of this in the living room, which I didn't want to have to do. Is that a kid's table though? It's not a kid's table because I still have to decorate it with everything. So I have, I have all of these acrylic, oh. acrylic uh, flower boxes I have to have uh, uh, What's done. the overall aesthetic? Um, it's good. This year I do a live, I do a living um, table runner, a living grass table runner <laughs> every it's year. Southern debutante. <laughs> So I have fresh lemonade for you. <laughs> I have sod and 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 sea and, and sea moss um, down the table in the beginning. So I have that, and I have these new flower things I'm trying out this year. Um, the tablescape colors are usually a little bit more pop tones with jewel tones, but this year I'm going to go a little softer because I want the flower and I want the I want the freesias to pop. Oh, okay. This is not even like him doing a joke for the camera. No, he's this is fully him. serious. You should get the, uh, the fucking so I, tablescapes off your thing. He shows. Well, we don't need to go in. Oh, okay. So that's, that's that. I'm a little bit stressed about that. I also had, I, I also am stressed Easter? about that. I, I'm $22,000 um, got robbed from me this week. What? No, it wasn't. You mean you it, got drunk and you went on no, the shopping? It was falsely no. deposited into his bank account and he spent it. I didn't spend it. <laughs> That's a very big difference no. from being I have Someone from accidentally you. Venmo'd you yes. 22K. Yes. My, my podcast company, um, pod, uh, uh, Venmo'd me, not Venmo'd me, deposited $22,000 in my bank account. Uh-huh. By mistake, I thought it was some back pay for some old commercials. So <laughs> now, that, like, now that was not, for three years not, work. No, it's not, <laughs> not, it's not an obscene amount, you know. You've so given like, so some I, good blowjobs over so the I, years. I figured it was just like, you know, for, for like, a month, like a month or two that was overdue. So I said, okay. So I took, I know, but I thought it was normal. You know, that is valid. Cause like, I don't yes. know where money's coming from. Like yeah. we get paid by random yeah, people. Yeah, I don't know if it's right. a commercial really popped yep. off from, from an old episode or something happened Maybe like that. Maybe Snooki fi- finally yeah. is, finally, you know. Finally, yeah. She up, finally, up, up, she finally, up, <laughs> she finally up, 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 up She's like, he's been doing good. Like, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, okay, so whatever. So then, that, then I get, uh, I was like, oh great, I'm doing great. Um, <laughs> I must be doing mentally. something. <laughs> and then I got a chilling email the other day where I was actually, I was on camera when it happened. So I was like, I was he like, melted oh my down. God. He was in the back of an Uber in Boston. I just see his No, face. that wasn't when it happened. I was, I was recording at home, but I, oh my God. they said, so we, we mistakenly gave it to you. He just wired it back to us. Like, it's like, oh sure. I was like, <laughs> did I spend it? Wait, so you I did get what, a new chain. What did you spend Look the at money what he, on? The, the new most chain. Italian. He's a, a rapper di- in 2003. Chain. Yes. That How much? Um, he is L- Lil 5, Joey. This is three thirty eight hundred. Thirty eight out of twenty two. So okay. there are twenty two. You got twelve after. We These still are fake have a diamonds. Lot this is spend. lab created diamonds. Okay, lab real, diamonds. Real car- fourteen karat gold. Yes. Hannah, he made an appointment for veneers. <laughs> I- <laughs> Dr. Andy, I love the fact that most people that got this money would be like, this must be a mistake where he was like, finally, someone sees my work. Yeah. Yeah. So so my dreams are ripped away from my my tablescape is going to suffer. Did you pay for the consultation for the veneers? No, the veneers and I are are, are working something special out. But um, okay, on the side, let me see your teeth. She's gorgeous. No, it needs a lot. Nick Jonas has three front teeth. You're perfect. He does have three front teeth. That's so weird. Yeah. Missing an incisor. So that really that, that um, negatively taped, um, negatively affected my tablescape budget. <laughs> did you so. try to be like, hey, this is on you? No, they did give me a thousand dollars as a as a sorry gift. Sweet. That's still not even paying for your necklace. No. Do you have a payment plan? No, I just gave it to him. He fin- now he's he's financing the tablescape. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to find it's a table scale. That was zero percent APR. Now he'll get in. I mean, I need new. I need. I need new new placemats. I need new chargers. My chargers are cracking down the seams. What are your chargers? What? Are you, what? A phone charger? No, my ch- plate chargers. I don't know what that is. It's the. It's the. It's the plate underneath the plate that, it's the that table, you don't use. Uh, it keeps it hot. No, it just oh, keeps no, it it's decorative. Just, it's it's you know. It's the, like a saucer. Yeah. So I need. I need. I need new. Um. I need new. Um. So I'm having a stroke. <laughs> I need, sorry. She, Marty, can we get her pill? She's going down. She, Beth, she, calf, she's going down. Hit her with a shot. Before I black out, get the new plate. Okay. Someone comes in with adrenaline. I need, the new, I need to, I need to uh, re-up the chargers this year. Um, did you have a debutante ball? Like, how did you even know where the forks go? Like, who raised you? Oh, my you? God. I, my, my father was we were born in the country club. On the oh. country club circuit for many years. Oh. So his great grandfather actually owned a plantation. Do they let the gays in the in the <laughs> yes. country club? Gays oh, yeah, love we, country club. Yeah, yeah, we love yeah. it. Yeah, Everyone's a little gay do. at the country so, club. So yeah, Beacon Hill Country Club. And, like who uses the and, word birdie all the time? Me. That's gay. Birdie's they raised gay. me. So um, so I have I have to have a new table now. 
I got to figure out my menu. I have to do. There's a lot of planning that goes into it. And I, what I is get it my for menus, again? I'm going to get my menus uh, printed on on <laughs> Lucite. No, not sent on oh, Lucite. Sorry, it's, it's a scratch. <laughs> It's like an Egyptian like scroll. It's hieroglyphic. Yeah. Now, if you go to page four, yeah, it's like I a print the away. menus, and they, you know, is your boy toy helping? No, he's not going to be there with me this year. He's going to be with his family. And what is this for again? Easter. Oh, Easter. Yeah, the, the Lord's passing day. of the Lord. Is, the he, is he born that day or is he die that no, day? That's when he rose from the dead. Yeah, he rose from the dead that day. Oh, yeah, I think so. Are we still Irish Catholic? Um, yes. Irish, you, not Catholic. How yeah. crazy would it be if I, and I hear me out, girls. How crazy <laughs> if I got live chicks to be in Lucite boxes around the table? You would I'm get sorry? canceled, babe. Live chicks? Yeah, like, I'll set them free after. Do you mean girls or chickens? No, like little baby chickens. I said yeah. Marie and Fran. No, oh, <laughs> baby chicks. So I cage the two girls. <laughs> You should do that. You have, maybe you could do like a nativity. Oh, what about bunnies? What about, what about what about if I get like a like a petting zoo like in the back? There's no children there, by the way. <laughs> There's not a kid. Like where like a, kids a um, like a white picket fence like this with like little grass in there, and then like some just bunnies going around. I mean, you bunnies could do are that. cute. My favorite thing was he had his father's birthday. And it was like a small party. There was like 10 people there. And he's at show puts up an Instagram story. I'm not even gonna be able to tell it. He puts up. I think he just texted to me. What was it? The menu? And there's like 10 people there. And he's panning. And a, a servant comes out. He had hired help for 10 people. She's in like a, tux. a tuxedo. And Joey's going. Like a butler. Joey goes. Put it down there. He's like barking <laughs> orders right. at this. I have now. I have to have two. I normally have one girl that comes in. Oh. Now I have to have two girls coming because I can't be. I can't <laughs> it's be like Gianna Spagnita from fucking. She's who's gonna serve the cousin drinks? of a cousin? Oh. No, they're, they work in restaurants. Your father, that old queen, likes it just as much as you. <laughs> yeah, he was in a leopard shirt. Yeah, that was the funniest. So we need to find that video. Just this woman. I was like, why do you have help? And your father's people are like Pretend. sucking in to walk around the island. There's like help there. <laughs> oh my fucking god! They're waiting outside the house. They can't fit in the house. Literally. Yeah. Well, this sounds classy and fun for it's you. It's gonna be fun. It's just a lot of work, and especially I'm in the negative now. Hey guys, we're taking a quick break from our interview with Hannah Burner to talk to you about Takis. Find the intensity with Takis, the most intense snack ever. Takis makes the best and most intense snacks like Takis waves, kettles, hot nuts, Takis sticks, and Takis pops, and. Takis rolls. That's right. And for people who want the intensity without the spice, you must try their intense nacho, the first non-spicy Takis flavor. Insanely cheesy, but still super intense. Love that one. Takis snacks are the perfect snack for any occasion. Road trips, gaming, watching TV, chilling, hanging out with friends, watching this podcast. No matter what you're doing, having Takis snacks on hand makes the day so much more intense. You know, I'm going to say something right now. If you are watching this right now without Takis in your hand. What are you doing, girl? And we don't want you to watch it. Trish, no, you know I like things intense, but sometimes Takis yes. will be a little too spicy for me. That's where, like the nacho flavor because it's not spicy, but still intense, super cheesy, so I can enjoy those all day long. And that crunch, you can't get anywhere else. So uh, try Takis today and face the intensity. Try Takis today, face the intensity. It's the purple bag. You can't miss it in the store. Now back to Hannah. Do you guys ever watch Below Deck? I love Below Deck. Yeah, you would be the head stew. Oh, I would love who's that. like snapping, freaking out, but at the end of the day, yeah. takes like the conch shells and makes a gorgeous yeah. Table they they want to have everyone. a disco, a conch theme disco or party Or someone that will night. be like, can I talk to you for one second? <laughs> yeah. Can I talk to you for a second? Um, the tablescape was supposed to be Moroccan style. Yeah. And that's Egyptian. <laughs> and now we're going to get in fucking trouble. And you'd be like, it's my art. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. You I haven't watched crush it in a while, show. but I do love that show. Were you a bit, would you ever do that show? Um, Paige and I joked like we'd like to be the people on the, the, the charter guests. guests. Yeah, yeah, the guests and just like be so in the drama though, like starting it, being like, <laughs> yeah. that waiter, did, were they supposed to talk shit about you to me? Like, did you was watch, crazy? have you watched the new, that movie? It's not new, it's too, like, last year. It was called um, Triangle of Sadness. <gasps> I want to. What's it called? It, there's a scene like that in the, in the show. They go on a yacht and, yeah. and they, there's some drama My with thing the is, steward. I like to know, like, for example, when I was on reality TV, I wanted to know the drama that was like within production. Like, yes. they're fucking each other, too. So, like, we'd be hanging out and they'd be like, so do you hate this person? I'm like, no, no, no. Do you hate That's the like director? Because I feel yeah. like you do. I just noticed tension between the, <laughs> eight, tension. Between the 80 and the or, director. Like, I don't want to get close, involved. They'd get close enough to you where they'd be like, oh, sorry, so-and-so is so annoying. I'm like, what are they doing? Yeah. And I would be like so invested <laughs> in their drama. Two of 
the people actually ended up hooking up on the low and I could tell and then they ju- they just got married. So I'm like some of the best drama is yeah. in it's production. It's behind the scenes. Yeah, mm-hmm. People want to know what like people are doing in the night shift at, 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 at Ross. They don't yeah. want to know. Because like- also the producers, they would party after mm-hmm. like because they're exhausted from dealing with our crazy asses. Yeah, so the worst night, job on earth. they would leave and they'd party and then they get into their own fights because they've just been watching fighting all day. <laughs> and I was very invested into it. Ooh. And I like they come up to me and they'd be like, what do you think about Amanda and I'd be like, what do you think about Steve? <laughs> <laughs> That's more entertaining than the bullshit going on in Bravo right now. What do you think about those those um, those uh, Ariana Grandes and the Tom Schwartzes? <laughs> okay, so I wasn't surprised by it because when are you you're, friends with them? I'm I'm friendly. I'm closest with I'd say Sheena. Sheena Sheree. Shushi. She Sheree Shalom. Yeah, but I've I've met all of them. Um, I actually Paige and I partied in Vegas with Ariana and Raquel and Tom. And, oh, and Raquel came to my wedding. Wow! With um, Nima from <laughs> from Shaws of Sunset, great guy. Oh. And I've always had you know a lot of fun. But Paige and I, when it all went down, look, reality TV. You have this cast, and you have to make good TV. I hear you. And it's like fucking a coworker. Like it's gonna happen. And the whole show has been people cheating on each other. Yeah. The way it went down, how scandalous. Did they, how did they yeah. film that already? Because it's already going. She's on, Ariana's on the on the computer saying, "I wish she would die or whatever." But like that was like, how must have happened this week? Are they? Yes, it's already out. So it's not edited, but they had that clip to put in the trailer. Oh, so like good producing right there. They're they're on it, and oh, I thought if this there's was like a good storyline. Like- it's a good storyline, but I mean. A good thing for Vanderpump because yeah. I think that show is one of the best shows on TV. Yeah, and for them to have a resurgence is beautiful. I feel horrible for the people who've been hurt, but I, I my like brain from someone who's been in the business, I'm like, I hope they all get bonuses. Yeah, because yes. like they're fucking crushing it. And what I love about Vanderpump is they understand they're all a team. Like no one's getting kicked off. Yep. No one's trying to like. They're all serving because they know it could be them the next day. Do they still right. actually work at the restaurant? Not all of them. No. But that's why it started to get awkward because it stemmed from just these mm-hmm. bartenders who were trying to be actors who were fucking each other. Yeah. And then they got rich to the point that they couldn't be in the restaurant anymore. And we were like, then what are we watching? Just rich reality TV people. But now um, the drama has gotten real again. So yeah. unfortunately, there's is, a- is uh, what's going to come back Stasi. I like that one. So, yes. I mean, Stasi. She got did she get in trouble for saying something racist or what happened with her? That was Marty. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Stassi, there was a time during BLM where like Stasi ended up not being on the show anymore. Right. And, oh, well, well. Yeah. <laughs> but Stasi always was like the reason everyone watched. But you know, <laughs> the people who they had fired, Kristen, they had also fired, and Jax and Brittany are now like going on Watch Robin's Live. So now Bravo's kind of twisted. Yeah, it's, it's come has a resurgence. I love it. it. Has, a resurgence. Has, the, has your relationship thawed with Andy at all? Or it's uh, Andy and really. I um have never been stronger. You know, Andy, yeah. I, I started to joke. I did some joking about him on Insta stories about a, I did chat room, which yeah, was yeah. a show, a talk show. And I joke. I was like, Andy doesn't know what the show was. He didn't remember me. And he messaged me and he's like, of course, I remembered you. Heart, heart, heart. So we're Ooh. dating. Yeah. <laughs> but so yeah Andy child. and I were always just like we were cool from chat room and he wasn't really involved in Summer House. So, yeah, I mean, he did like deal with the reunions, but he didn't he didn't watch the show. I feel he like you don't even it. like. If you wanted to go back, you don't even need to. You have so much stuff going on with like comedy is much more. I do have to say for my mental health, um, as someone who likes to be heard and express herself and has opinions and and also loves to like empower other people and collaborate. Comedy has been that for me where where reality TV started to be like a takedown. Thing. Right. Yeah. And like I'm, I'm don't play that game. I just start crying and like I don't want to be involved. Right. You're very well respected in the business. Everyone's oh God, been talking about you. you. Oh my God, you're so sweet. Yeah. Well, before some, um, before Summer House, I was working as a comedy video producer at Betches, and that was my dream. Oh, that's right. So Paige and I joked like this is a cool stepping stone. Yeah. And then you know you get caught up in the game. Uh-huh. But <laughs> next thing you know, <laughs> you know it's just next thing you know you're throwing wine glasses <laughs> at people, and you're like, ah, don't talk about my fucking family. <laughs> yeah. But it's also like I'm Italian. I go 100 percent for what I do. But I also I think reality TV was fun for me to show that like I want to show that women can be multifaceted and like you could be hot but depressed and anxious but funny and a boss and lonely. But it didn't always come across that way because yeah. you get oversimplified where with comedy you can be a lot of things and you're in control of ultimately like 
what's being putting out and I'm also not put against other people. Right. Bravo's very WWE. Yes. Like they'll just make it like you versus someone else when you're like, we didn't even have that much beef. Where comedy I get to collaborate instead <laughs> yeah. of WWE. No, you're going against them. <laughs> They're like, so, no, so it's she's, you versus she calls you. your mother cunt. <laughs> I heard her say it. Imagine yeah. they did that like I'd stand up like you have to like go through other other else's set and yeah. it comes to the roast of the person that was before you. Yeah, exactly. It, That'd be fun. They do a thing called Kill Tony where you do 60 seconds of comedy and then the people judge those 60 seconds, which is hard. Like you're either going to bomb. Most oh, people do. Yeah, and then yeah, the yeah. comedian just like rate how it went. But, oh. um, but it's all, again, that's all like, we're all in the game. Yeah. And so a rising tide raises all ships. I did. Where did I read that today? I think I gave <laughs> Hannah some homework to do. <laughs> what is that? Came on. I love that's it. a quote. I love how you don't tell Joey any of the press. Oh, I said it in the group. I know he wasn't going to read it. <laughs> what was it? Was that in a group chat with you guys today? We're in a group chat. Marty's, if you could have seen the disgust on Marty's face right there. Were you there too? <laughs> no. No, we're talking about the Mean Girls shit. I go, oh, do I want to say something about this? Could make a good, we're pulling a page of Mean Girls book, trying to get a fucking clip out of this shit. The show. girls that work here? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know what the Mean Girls He knows drama. a lot of Mean yeah. Girls. I I just saw it. It came up on my TikTok. I saw yeah. Portnoy talking about it. And then my boy Fran was jumping in the mix. So I had to do Francis some reading. Francis Ellis. Francis yeah. Ellis. That's um, how I know. I like how you pulled the, all I had to do was say that in your brain. Okay, now he's transitioning. I know. He's going to the, he's he's, going to the Francis, so I love when a guy jumps in and he's sassy. Oh, yeah. You can, you can update him. The Mean Girls shit. Yeah. Like, you do it. It's all. It's all. No, you I, were talking about the TikTok. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw a TikTok that. Oh, okay. I'm going to be honest, too. I've never really seen i've never really watched a mean girls clip okay a mean girl clip mm -hmm. so i'm very not i don't know what's going on but i do know that kelly keegs was like can we stop posting these clips it's bad for women yeah. and then and then i mean <laughs> like, is that kind of what she said yeah, yeah. yeah no that's the synopsis it's okay. it's like, um, basically they said they're going viral like every other day because they're saying crazy shit online but it's the dumbest stuff ever dinosaurs aren't real i don't wash my hands after i piss they've had two really bad ones like kelly back to keegs. back weeks yeah but these are like like 4,500 comments, which is like a monster thing for Barstool. Uh -huh. Five million views. So Kelly wrote a blog like, I hate this. It's bad for women and f your boyfriend. And then Fran, Fran, who has had issues with Mean Girl in the past. Yeah. Um, oh, right. Because I guess they cut his, they segment. Cut his sort yeah. of segment. Steps up. And takes a side we didn't know he was going to take. Um, this is modern day, you know, Watergate. And yeah. he basically was like, I think <laughs> I think that Kelly is being a hater. Yeah. And that these girls are actually from smart a, and they know what they're doing. fellow ginger, that's, that's some backstabbing. That, you know? uh, I, no one saw that coming. Yeah. Two no. fire crotches should band together. And Francis is walking around the office with a little pep in his step right now. He, well, France, she did a booty bump. That's why. <laughs> He's a sassy king. <laughs> he is a sassy king. Do you wash your hands after you pee? Yeah. Every time. Yeah. I'm not peeing, I don't. I, I don't, have. Okay, it's, a, it's like 50 50 for me. I just I like like having clean hands. Yeah. I also think when you have nails, shit gets stuck in your nails. Like me after yeah. a burrito, I need to take a shower yeah. because it'll, I'll smell like enchilada for the next three weeks. I, I think it's fun to play with people's. Like get reactions out of people, mm -hmm. and it's I, I think the girls are getting reactions out of people. I, this okay, I this is girl. not to bring up. Am I allowed to say the c word? Yes, anything. Call her daddy. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> when, that was not the c word I was thinking. When all the drama went down with call her daddy, my argument was like, this is not between Sophie and Alex. This is between like a bigger media company figuring out how to handle its talent in yes. a new age where talent can make so much money on their own. Yeah. So this, again, I don't think this is about Kelly or the mean girls. I think this is about, you know, Barstool has competition and there's stuff being said in meetings and she's getting annoyed because if stuff wasn't being said in meetings, comparing everyone and that kind of culture, then she wouldn't say that. Not that there's anything wrong with that culture, but as an outsider, now I understand, oh, there's some inner competition going on that I don't know about or care about. Uh, there's a lot of competition here, I think. Because she wouldn't say Especially that. me and Sandra. She, <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't say that if Portnoy had not in meetings been like, do what the mean girls do. They're doing great. Right. Otherwise, she'd probably be like, oh, they got some good videos. Or I guess someone's choosing whose clips get on Barstool. That's that's yeah, inner like company Chuck. shit that we don't. It's like Chuck and Gaz who like will get a hard on for like comments and views and stuff because that's yeah. what you have to do. That's what makes money. But yeah. we get emails every week that says where we rank out of every brand. <gasps> <laughs>
Yeah. yeah. Every week you oh, yeah. rank so, this. Usually we're like one or two. Out yeah. Of, like, yeah. Like 80, out of 80 or 90. Yeah. But yeah, there's definitely like they'll light a competition under and the haters are. I don't hate the mean girls for doing this. Fuck it. Get your no. clips, girl. Yeah. Just but know that I, people who like it's not like it's much easier to get hate attraction online than like admiration. Well, but that's also the thing with the mean girls. They would you rather would Kelly rather whether be like the mean girls where she's saying stuff that she knows she's going to get hate for that right. stuff is hard. That weighs on you, yeah. but you're getting views. You're making money. Um, is there a long term brand there? They'll see. They'll see if they evolve. But I feel like Kelly would not have said that if she wasn't getting those emails and getting that pressure from the company to be like, be better. And then she's comparing herself. Barstool Sports uh, contributor, Hannah Burner. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a correspondent um, yeah. for the business of Barstool Sports. But I, I I mean, I'm an athlete. I do better with competition. But yeah, but basically, like, let's say we're having fun today. Imagine if afterwards someone goes, hey, Joey crushed it on that pod and you didn't do that well. Next time I see Joey, I think this guy is in between me and success and I need to, you know, stab him in the gut. Yeah, I need to put up a clip about, you know, <laughs> whether or not. Um, the <laughs> is real, or yeah, he killed <laughs> or something to get a fuck to get to get some comments on it. We'll but have also, to bleep both of those, Marty. But but also, I yeah. feel like with Kelly, she was like, "Let's prove that women are smarter and stuff." But it's like, are people being geniuses on pods? No, no yeah, one's trying to that. Smart that's on for, that's for almost smart like, people. A, like a low hanging fruit. It's like that's a statement you can't disagree with. Well, we do need to prop up women. I was like, is that really what's happening here? Yeah, we prop up women all the time. On high heels. Correct. <laughs> yeah, but people aren't tuning in for smart people on Barstool Sports or for in intelligent conversation. I think unless you're listening to NPR, like, is that here? Tuning in. Yes. Yes. This you're is the any of that. gay PR. You know what? Hannah Burner is my favorite person on earth. And you know what my favorite meal kit on earth is? The only meal kit for me is HelloFresh. Um, make mealtime easy with delicious recipes made with fresh wholesome ingredients delivered to your door. No lines, no hassle, just great tasting meals you can whip up and enjoy in the comfort of your own home with the cost of groceries going up. Um, you know what? I feel like I don't even need to use the ad thing here because I just want to say this. We know HelloFresh and we love it. Yes, I love it because I'm saving so much more money on um, the eating out. When I order out, yep. I'm eating crap food and I'm getting, you know, I'm gaining weight because I'm eating at takeout every night. With this, it's 25% less um money then to then to take out and I get meals delivered right to my door. I don't have to go grocery shopping. I don't have to lug them up and down the stairs to my apartment. I don't have to worry about what I'm cooking that day. I get my recipe cards the, 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 that week and I'm ready best. for the whole week and I know what I'm going to be having planned out. So I plan them out accordingly to what's happening in my week and I'm not over buying groceries. Sometimes I buy so much groceries. That's everything goes huge. Everything goes in the garbage. I never finish it. I get just the right amount of things. So I'm not overeating. I'm also not overspending and I'm not throwing things out. So it's a perfect thing for my family. And you can customize your meals. You can swap proteins with sides, veggie dishes, whatever. I'm sure most most of you listening, watching right now have thought about what would it like to be to use a meal kit? Try HelloFresh because we're going to give you it's a great so deal. Exciting. Um, and if you don't like it, don't use it after that, but you're going to love it. And if right now, if you go to HelloFresh.com slash out and about 60 and you code out and about 60, that's 60% off plus free shipping. Think about that. 60% off your meals plus free shipping. That's code out and about 60 at HelloFresh.com slash out and about 60 for 60% off. You're going to absolutely love it. Um, now back to our interview with Hannah Burner. Um, do you perform in Boston anytime soon? So I, ooh, I am going to be at the Chevalier Theater. Ooh, where is that? In Boston. It's in Medford, but I call it Boston. Medford. Medford. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I'm going to be there. It's on my website, but I sold out two Wilbur's and we added a third. Oh, good for so you. We're, That's awesome. No, you awesome. understand. Boston are my people. Yeah. Like I fuck with, I, I grew up like in the Yankees and now I've changed. I'm like Johnny Damon. <laughs> let's fucking go. You were just there for that gay, the Green Pride Parade. Yeah. Yes. St. Patty. Are there gays in Boston? Ask her. I didn't see any. <laughs> oh, he tells me, he goes, oh, there's another gay at the bar this place locally. I lost to. him. So we were like, come over here, girl. And we were talking and, and then 10 minutes in, we're like, are you gay? He goes, no. <laughs> I thought he was. was. We were like, he's like, no, I just wanted your drugs, idiot. Yes. We weren't gay. So Paige has a theory that every guy is definitely like a little gay on the down low. Yes. But Buckland <laughs> like Diplo. <laughs> Yeah, we were. That's what we yes. talking. What did you guys think of Diplo's quote? I mean, I, 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 I kind of understand it because I've blown more straight guys than gay guys. Is that so? That's a true. That's a true statement. Yeah, I feel like most gay guys have said they hook up with a lot of straight guys. So as a yeah. straight girl, I'm like, if the math is mathing, that means a lot of straight. I must have hooked up with a dude who's yeah. also hooked up with you. To make them gay, I'm we're asking them, sisters, to them, like, like Diplo was saying to them, a blowjob is a blowjob. If his eyes are closed, he, you know, it's, it's not in a relationship. He's not lusting after men. But also, who is out here making intense eye contact?
contact on every blowjob, then I'm fucking gay. No one. Yeah, how I'm are you going to come if you're looking at the person? Yeah, I can't. Saying, like, men, straight men don't give a fuck. They're not, that doesn't make them gay. They're not lusting after men. They're not, you know, they're not gay because they're not like wanting to date men, but you know, they wanted to get. Well, I kind of like that it normalized, like, because girls, it's normalized to be like, yeah, I make out with my friends. Right. Girls are hot. I've, I tried aiding out a pussy once kind of thing. Yeah. And <laughs> girls say that all the time. But then guys, they're not like, yeah, you know, my friend Steve, me and him fuck around a little. It's cool. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think more guys should do it. It'd be so less annoying. Like, let's say he wants to do anal and you're like, can you just call Steve up? Like, yeah, it's not a big deal. Ass. Steve's the bottom, Steve. obviously. <laughs> he, he was so like casual about it too. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not a big deal. He's cool. Also, he's, he's an he's artist. Like, yeah. Artist. And like, he doesn't care. He's rich. Who doesn't care? He doesn't care. True. What people when you're think rich, you need so much to get off, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Like, you, you have everything at your disposal. You can only, you can only fuck so You just don't models. want a pussy. That's boring. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio wears his headphones while he fucks. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that what Mick Jagger did? He just like got tired of fucking chicks because it was like so easy. He's that fucked he, every chick yeah, in the like, world. Yeah, like yeah, everyone. He's in like, the let's try world. to turn a straight man because that's fucking manly. Boston's a good looking city, though. Yeah, it was. I thought it was very good. You hate people. I don't know why you hated Boston so much? I just think it's ugly there. In I, terms of what? Like the city's not pretty. I think it parts it had, of it are. Maybe I've only maybe only, maybe because I was sitting on a freeway. I feel like Paul Revere was that. Where what part of town were we? Because that part was ugly. <laughs> we were on ninety three. Yeah, What's they have like here? the brick. They have bricks. I think bricks. Bricks like, exposed are great. brick. <laughs> we just I'm went out drunk forever. Like I was out. I went out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which was I was like crazy. Who's, who's, six day who's better. better at drinking? Her. Yeah. At drinking. Oh, you are way better. You know what it is? You can go longer. The only reason I was able to go is just because I shut my brain off. I was like, I have no. Were choice. there just people passed out things. in the streets? Yes. Yeah. It was Peeing so everywhere. boozy, so insane. It's just so. Irish. I didn't get drunk at the parade. Believe it or not, it was so cold. Though. I was hung. I feel like though. parades are freezing. so gay. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> how fucking gay is a parade. parade? All these straight dudes like Ireland. I'm like, this is a the, gay anthem. Gay, gay. We were, we were like on like the water waiting to turn. We didn't know how it was going to be, but the second we turned down like onto the parade route, it was like fifty thousand <laughs> like screaming white men. They're all yeah. matching in their green outfits. Yeah, yeah. all matching. All <laughs> Celtic, it is gay. Celtic. With sparkles and yeah. hats. They're pretending they're leprechauns. Leprechauns yeah. is like a gay icon. The leprechaun. St. Patrick. Saints are fucking gay. Yeah. Saints are gay as fuck. Saints with their... It's like drag for angels. Yeah. Marching bands are gay. <laughs> Marching bands. That's our quote. Marching anyone wearing... Anyone wearing... Uh, a yeah. sailor costume. Organiz organization <laughs> Doctors is gay. Doctors are gay. <laughs> Doctors are gay. Organization is gay. Yes. <laughs> Drinking in large groups is gay. Drinking in large groups is so gay. Planning is gay. <laughs> Planning the parade is gay. Planning. A, if you plan a parade, that's a gay thing. You if you, gay if you have a group sex. chat, that's gay. Planning yeah. a tablescape is yeah. not gay, though. <laughs> no. Table, no, that's true. No, the <laughs> tablescapes are hard. A $20,000 under budget tablescape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your father's. You should have just said, "Look, I'm not going to give you the money back, but you can invite those people to yeah, my to party." Yeah. And I can, can do a trade out on my social for you. <laughs> okay. But at this one, that's all I can do. Two booty pics. Two booty pics. <laughs> my hands are tied. <laughs> but you do look great, Joey. And I don't like to talk no, about women's bodies, you. but like I, I can tell you have been using Ozempic. I have been using it. Yeah, I, I, I love it. It's my favorite. Um, it's like um, it's getting your stomach staple without having to do the surgery. Mm. Is you just have no appetite, but you also yeah. you have an surgery. appetite. But you know, instead of eating six slices of pizza, I eat one. Yes, and then and then belittle myself. And you work out? No, no. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I think about it. As long I have a free membership to Equinox, I but I never it. go. Yeah, that's a couple calories. Yeah, the reason you don't go. Can we? Have we ever talk about that? It's time enough. Time has passed, right? I don't care. Yeah, these two queens complained about him because on our show he would like made a joke that he would like go into the steam room and like. It is a joke. Going to the scene room, I'm like, oh, I can't go in there because if I go in, I'm going to want to blow someone. Yeah. So these two old queens who listened to our show wrote a letter to the manager of Equinox. And the, obviously it the said, manager was like, I'm showing you this. Yeah. So, so that's they, why the recent so disciplinary action taken on We need them. to fight them. Oh, no, I can still go there. I'm not banned from the gym. They can't tell me not to go there. They're just saying that they feel uncomfortable if I'm there. I said, I'm not going to blow blow uh, people in front of you. I'm not going to blow you. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Maybe, well, if it's why do enough. I feel like they want to blow you? Probably. I feel like you guys should just blow each other and call it a day. Also, no, I can't. I have a boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I apologize. <laughs> but I do. I have heard lots of stuff about the Equinox steam room as like being. Well, it is. It's um, foul. It, it, it's where shit Not goes Not any, any Any gym steam room, that's what it is. That's if you put your, your hair up. But Equinox, they're like richer. Yes. As I said, they want you to think. Um. If you put your hair up and taped yourself down. 
you could get some. You could, you could catch a load in there. <laughs> it would be if it's steam, yeah. if it's steam. If they you go, take the is, tits under the under the arms, yeah, they duct go, tape to hold them back. This is the sloppiest butthole I've ever. Had. <laughs> <laughs> it is foul. We oh my gosh! Quit. But if it makes them want to work you out, never, you never you never got fingered in the steam room by uh, by a. Uh, by a, um, I get claustrophobic in steam rooms. Like the smoke comes, I feel like I'm in a volcano. I start having a panic attack. I yeah. I'm like not chill enough. You can't to see room. enough. You can't really see. Yeah, it's like a hot box, and you don't even get high. No, very true. Are do you smoke weed? I love people who smoke weed, but I get panic attacks when I smoke weed. Yeah, Edibles, you just drink Pinot Grigio. I can't. I can't do any of it. I'm. I like raw dog. I. I have enough of my own anxiety being sober. Mm-hmm. When I smoke are you sober weed, now. I'm not sober, but like Des is sober. So I'll drink, but I'm, yeah. I just feel like genetically, like Des is Irish, genetically, right. like Irish people respond to alcohol differently. I drink alcohol, I get a little dizzy, I feel bloated, I get tired. I'm not naturally a drinker. Yeah. When I, when I if you were like, let's black out tonight, I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm not, I'm, not gonna, forward. I'm not going to order like four glasses of wine at dinner. I'd rather yeah. have the chicken parmesan and have room Save in my stomach calories. for the tiramisu. I don't like to eat when I drink. No, I can't. I like eat to, I eat, I have water with my meal and then I drink. I don't like drinking. I don't oh, like no. even eating when I'm drunk or like having food. No, like I food. like to, I'll go to dinner, but I'm not going to eat a lot. Like I, I like to get drunk at dinner. Like, I like having the cocktails and having the social aspect of it and like eating, picking and having some food, but I can't get drunk and, and eat at the same time. I have to be like on an empty stomach. Otherwise, I can't float it and I can't get drunk. I feel like and I binge ruins eat the after meal. and I binge eat after. Yeah, it's like wasting the alcohol if you're eating. I feel like sober curiosity is a thing right now. What is that? I like Being it. Being sober I have curious. That. I, I mean, like, I'm doing it too. Every other week, you're like, should I not? Drink because I don't put labels. Like I'll go months without yeah. drinking, but I'm not. I don't say I'm sober. Labels are the worst thing ever. Like no one cares enough to put a fucking label on. Who's no? No one's taking uh, tabs on what you're drinking, <laughs> what not drinking, what you're eating, what, what if you're vegan or eating cheese this week. No one fucking cares. You selfish fucking freak. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Everyone's like, I'm, I'm just curious. I did you have, to have a salad today. You have to today. announce and, and label something. I'm going on the record saying this. Hey, I went here and the gluten was really potent. So <laughs> I got the runs after I went, so please stay away. <laughs> No, yeah, I just, if I feel like drinking, I do. If I don't, I don't. But I do feel like as we're getting older, older, the hangovers are worse. And I just, yeah, I can't. But if I had to like this weekend, I just put my, I was like, okay, don't think about it. You have no choice, but to, you're here for one thing. You make it sound like torture. You're it like, is torture. I'm it's, torturing myself. It's all mental stamina. You're like, you can do this. It is. Cause I was like, I have one thing to do. I'm going to go out. I was out until one. And I was like, you just have to suck it up and go. But I can do that for like three or four days, which sounds bad, but then I'll be crashed. Well, after doing reality TV where you're basically like to survive, you have to drink. Yeah. Like I used to base, I joked, like I got paid to drink and now I'm like, I don't get paid anymore. So I don't want to do it. And yeah. it's probably fucks. Well, I don't know how you don't because you work so late. It's like that's part of it because you can sleep late. So a lot of stand ups are sober because they're a lot of them like to drink and you're not going to get better as a comic if you're drunk every night. You don't yeah. remember the jokes you're doing. Some people are funny drunk on stage. I'm not. I think I'm being hilarious and I'm just like, you know, the one time. <laughs> so I, I don't. But yeah, you have to remember your jokes. You have to think yeah. like you're working. Yeah, and right. I do think if you're drinking every night, then you're sleeping till late yep. and it's not a sustainable lifestyle so like when I'm on the road people want to go out or they want to give me coke after to party and I'm like I'm strictly business when I'm on the road like yeah. I do my shows I go home I sleep I have shows the next day so I treat it like a, like like an athlete yeah I, I used to get fucked up before the show and then have to like except for, to kill my nerves and stuff like that yeah. but now I just, I can't like, I, I don't start drinking until I hit the stage. Also, I'll have my first glass of wine on the stage. Yeah, Paige would, when we first started, she'd get a little nervous. So she'd drink beforehand and then we'd be on stage and she's loose as a goosey. Yeah. yeah. Her agent's texting me like, cut the show, cut yeah. the show. But, and then she like, won't remember the meet and greet, but she is amazing when she's drunk. Like yeah. she is yeah. a great performer. However, it's not sustainable. Right. You can't do that all the time. And I feel like there's a misconception. People think like what we do, like what you do, especially it's just like a fun, easy thing to do. It's not. Oh my God, it's com- unbelievably I mean, difficult. Comedy, it's a ton of work. Comedy. Discipline. Like, you see comics. Like, obviously we have so much fun hanging out together and make each other laugh, but we're all just like, we got to think of new bits. I fucking hate my last set. I'm not looking yeah. forward to going to Buffalo this weekend. It's, it, I have yeah. all these. So we're, we're in the heat of it all. And also you're comparing each other for what stuff you're getting in the stand up industry. So at the end of the day, it is, it is work. And that's why maybe going full circle, like mean girls and Kelly and them, it's like, I just want everyone to be creating and working hard and like focus on your shit. You know, I hear you sisters. We have a show in Nashville coming up. Ooh. We didn't sell it out yet. We didn't sell is it, it Zanies? 
Yeah. Yes. It's, <gasps> it's good room. Good room and the coolest green room ever. So many snacks. Oh, I love snacks. And it's like big and yeah. you just, you feel like a rock star. Last time I was there, um, shit, what's her name? <laughs> <laughs> um, The lady who runs it? <laughs> no, the country music star. Shania Twain. Close. Loretta Lynn. Close. Um, Ashley Judd. Close. <laughs> <laughs> who sings Angela oh, Yates. Casey Musgraves. Casey Musgraves, Casey Musgraves yeah, is yeah. there. She showed up. To your show? To watch you? To the show. And it was crazy. Did you call her out? She she said hi in the green room beforehand. She was so respectful. She was like, focus on your show. I was nervous. But just know I'm here. My friend was hilarious. She got nervous and she started talking to her about how her friend had passed away and how her friend loved her. Oh. No, it was so funny. And and she looked at me and I was like, that was bad. That Like we were trying to be chill. <laughs> like that was bad. Afterwards, she stayed and my friend got to like joke with her. Like, sorry if I ruined the mood. And they were laughing. She loves comedy. <laughs> Maybe she might go to your show. She's oh, been going great. there apparently a lot of weekends. Oh, I love She Casey would love you guys. Great. I'm friends with her makeup artists. So I'd probably you should, be great. Yeah, she you should hit them up. Her come apparently over. she loves going to comedy shows. Well, would you like to pitch Casey? Maybe to come to the Casey, show. Casey, tell Moana. Uh, <laughs> tell Moana to do this. Yep, sister, come on to the show. Zany's Comedy Club, April twenty fourth, and we're gonna do a big after party. Twenty fourth or twenty seventh. Uh, 27th. April twenty seventh at Zany's Nashville. We're figuring it out though. Like when we do the shows, I was like, I will like handle like the booking and like dealing with it, and he handles the after party. Yeah. That's how it's. I mean, working. the after party is a whole different monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have tablescapes? Tip, not for that. No, okay. no, no, no. I can't get too involved. I, I can't get, I won't be able to do the show. I'll be concentrating on, on the candelabras. <laughs> Where is the tea candelabra? Lights, tea lights and begonias. I can't. They walk in. It's it's a, like, usually a club is just a beautifully laid out table. Scene. Yeah, yeah. Sconces on the walls. Oh my God. That one with a rodeo theme. Nashville <laughs> is very gay. I feel yeah, like. Well, I feel not like anymore. You're not allowed to be. Yeah. Well, cowboy boots are drag. Yeah. You have heels. Yeah. Cowboy yeah. boots have heels. They're going to get arrested. We wanted to, you, well, he emailed the Westboro Baptist Church to see if they would come protest us. Uh -huh. We wanted to protest. Because we're doing the show in drag. Great press. Obviously. Free press. Yeah. Um, and no bite. But they did send us back some Bible verses, I think they said. <laughs> Saying, this is why you deserve to die. Go to hell. Yeah. No, literally, they emailed <laughs> yeah. them back. They go, Wait, so they write, hello, How far is drag? Like, let's say you guys had on, like, fake eyelashes. Is that drag? Like, what is the, if they're going to make laws, what is the line? Yeah. I'll let you, you, I'll you, I'll let you can't be, you, can't be, you just can't be. What uh, if you have heels on? But but yeah. uh, but like a suit, anything that's any, anything, <laughs> like a power suit. What if you're Hillary Clinton? As long as, you're, as long as you identify as straight and white, then you're you're all set. There. I wonder where they. <laughs> can you dress as Hillary? Like I don't shave my legs and I wear a dress. Is that no, drag? You'd be that's out. drag. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to do drag. Cuffed. Like um, who was the the people you sent me? It was like the religious people. Like uh, Marty, can you Google <laughs> the Warren Jeff's wives? Who? Warren Jeff. Warren Jeff's wives. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> That's who he suggested. Joey. I still don't know what you're, Warren Jeff. Yes, Warren Jeff's wives. Joey sent this to me as a serious thing saying, this is how I want to dress for the show. <laughs> I, I go, did? are you serious? He goes, yes. Oh, uh, is this one of those like uh, cult leaders? Where are they? Yes. No, oh. First oh. Oh. I do like their hairstyle. Yeah. With the hair. Yeah, the French braid. Can you zoom in on them? The little puff. With the <laughs> this is what Joey wanted to dress. Are they from Tennessee? <laughs> no, I think they're I more. I do like the pastels. It's very Easter themed. That's all his wives? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Where I watched this. Dresses? I watched this. They probably sewed them. Yeah. Themselves. Um, <laughs> it's I, like I Kimmy did watch Schmidt. this. They were all fucking him. And they had to it's go on a line like that, to yeah. say goodnight to him. <laughs> so and you just so hope that he would get tired by the end. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. But it so no, it fucked. was so fucked up. Hey, he was and, like, not Mr. Jeffs. And he was like, I'm his dad was behind the prophet. His dad died. And then he was like, suddenly. I'm the prophet <laughs> and all you guys have to fuck me now. And they were like, what? All You're the, the son. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right no, and love... then when he died, it like threw like a huge wrench in the whole thing. Cause he was supposed he to was live forever. And exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's dead. Now who gets yeah. all the money? They split it. He's in Zion. <laughs> Zion's a gay club. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you performing in Utah? It. So I'm perform. I'm big in the Mormon community. Yeah. Shout out to the Mormons. Um, I have nine shows in Salt Lake City this week. We nine had like, shows. We had, we had Heather so Kane. Don't get me started. It just it kept selling, so we kept adding, and I was like, "This seems like child labor." This You're is gonna at the same club. At the same club. That's the wait staff. That is the wait staff. <laughs> no, but Des is coming to ski during the day. Oh my god! So he's gonna like skiing. Okay. Yeah. Skiing yeah. during the day, doing little dance moves on the on the ice, and then um, performing at night. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna be dead by the end of it, but I'm excited. How exciting! Salt yeah. Lake City, Utah. Yeah, Salt Lake City. Should we go there? 
I think you should. So Trish, you know the only thing that's making my tablescape and my whole Easter decoration thing bearable? Uh, let me take a wild guess. Is it Etsy? It is Etsy for sure, because I'm getting all the things I need for my tablescape on Etsy. Literally, they have things that are made by artisans, things you can't get anywhere else. So I know my tablescape, no one's gonna have the same Easter egg things I'm gonna have. No one's gonna have my little bunny rabbits like I'm gonna have on there. No one's gonna have the same picture frames that I'm gonna have on there because I got them all on Etsy and these are made by artists, artisans. These are proprietary people just making like crafts, craftsmen, making things at home, so I know I'm gonna have original pieces. They are shipped right away to my house, which I love. And there's so, such cool, cool things that you can't get anywhere else. So we love to shop on Etsy. Like we said, it's beautiful items from independent sellers. It's direct from the independent seller to your door. They have everything from statement pieces like rugs and sofas to daily staples like outerwear and accessories. And chargers for my dinner plates. We could get outerwear there? Clothes. I th I th that other printed shirt I had the other day with that, that cool pattern on it, that was from Etsy. You know what we should do? We should go on Etsy and look up some stuff like some little tchotchkes. I'm on it right now. For our Nashville show. Etsy probably has the best stuff for Nashville. Yes, they could, we can get a hoop skirt there if we have to. So you can shop jackets, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, made for all budgets on any occasion. So don't think, oh, you know, I only got 10 bucks to spend. I Maybe I want to wait and whatever. I don't know if I want to go on Best Etsy. gifts ever. You know, if you want to get a holiday gift or a birthday gift or Mother's Day gifts coming up, something that we're never going to get anywhere else. And it's not going to be like a generic thing. These are quality products you can get. And it's my favorite thing because no one else has them. Yeah, I love very, it. very unique. And if you're new to Etsy, use code NEW for 10% off your first order. That's code NEW. Maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. See terms at Etsy.com slash terms. For home, style, and gifts, shop Etsy.com. Etsy has it. Tell Joey sent you. We want to do like a deep south tour. We're very I'm obsessed infatuated with, with the that. Deep South. Yeah, Louisiana, yeah. Oklahoma, Alabama. Oklahoma, Alabama. I did Alabama, but I did um Fayette, uh, Fayetteville, Fayetteville. No, that's Arkansas. Ar you should go to Arkansas. Arkansas. Good grits. Good grits in Arkansas. Maybe like a Mississippi. I, I want to see. I, 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 that's a reality TV out, show. Care. You guys in the South. You should probably yeah. like see if you could turn on gay. Like oh, go to that's <laughs> our dream. <laughs> is to go to the conversion camp. You yeah. should go. You guys in a conversion camp. <laughs> We got it. We should. That's we should tell the church that we want help getting out of the getting out of the gay lifestyle. We should start that. Well, the problem is you can't find a conversion camp. It's not like fixyourgay.com. It's really? like dot i o x underscore something because they're oh. so like messed up. In Imagine it works. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm it does. So, we come back. No, hey, what's I, up? I watched a documentary on it, and the guy who was like the face of it was like, "I was gay, and then <laughs> oh, I yeah, met yeah. my wife, and we and are so that? happy together." Butch Dyke. And yeah. then and then <laughs> they found him in a gay bar. Oh, and because no. he, you know, he relapsed yeah. and then well, it's it, part of recovery, <laughs> it ruined like everything he was and he's out of the community. But yeah, people who were the ones who were at the forefront of the movement eventually go, I can't, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I, I felt the temptation. <laughs> God, the, the demon came through It's always, came a, it's through always me. with religion though. It's never, it's never, there's never like any like, any like scientific ones that like can change your, your thing. It's always based on, on self hate and religion and like well, fear of God. Well, people will commit, will unalive themselves as you know, because TikTok friendly. they will feel like how come all these other people were able to change and I can't and I'm yeah. disgusting and I have shame and it's so fucked up. But, um, yeah, I just want to go through the process. Like, I want to know, like, what is intake like? Like, do they look you oh, down? Electrosis. They go, son, why don't you explain this uh, four point deer on your four point buck on your arm? You know what it is? They don't try to get you to be attracted to women. They try to get you to kind of ignore your urges with men and say, this will be your best friend. Women are nice. You get along with her. She's your best friend. Just be happy doing this. And they can convince themselves for a couple of years. And then. Yeah. Should then, then, then they think about it. Dick. <laughs> well, we tried to, I think maybe that's our next. Tell me how long it is. I have things to do. <laughs> How Joey, long is conversion It's Joey's camp? turn to set yeah. the table. They walk out to a beautiful tablescape. <laughs> <laughs> so I went with. <laughs> no, but it's there was like this one guy who is flaming and he just walks around every day and tells people, I used to be gay. But in then front I of the grocery Jesus. store? Yep. Yeah. Yep. In front of the grocery store. I put God it down. I found you, Jesus. Brother. But yeah. honestly, you being obsessed with Jesus is gay. Well, religion well, is gay. Very gay. Religion is like, gay. Like now you're just Jesus is gorgeous. Like looks like. Look at know. his body, how gay his body was. Yeah. Jesus had an eight pack, beautifully quaffed. <laughs> did not need an eight pack, did not need no. his hair that condition. You look like Jesus. Stop. <laughs> Thank you. I, I do identify as a gay man sometimes. I get that. 
I'm trying to get out of it. I love your I love your outfit today. Should we do you want to do you want to break down so, the outfit? Babe? Actually, we're wearing we're wearing um, the same top. We're wearing Yiddy. Is that from Amazon? Lizzo Yiddy. That's she Lizzo's sent it. top. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, stretchy. This is Fashion Nova because I have a big booty. Those this jeans? is Steve Madden, and my tampon is Tampax. Tampax. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing your, uh, your Irish track suit. What's it called? Uh, uh, Canadian, this is Canadian very in right now. The denim on denim, apparently. Yeah, and I was trying to. We had to do two outfits today because we did two uh, interviews. Yeah. Do you feel like since up. Joey's been here, you've been able to like lean into the gay more? Oh, for sure. Like dress yeah. more how you want to dress. Not dress how I want to dress. He still dresses like trash. I but still. He's, he's more flamboyant. But he has a model like body, like sample right. size, Thank which is you, annoying because it's clearly well, she's genetic. too tall. Yeah, I she's too tall for the runway. I would give like two inches away. I'm six five, six three. I think is perfect. Yeah, it's too tall. How dare you? It's freakish. No, see, I love a freaky tall man. Even though I hate when they get all the attention, like, like you're so tall, and I'm like, we get it. Yeah, other people are here too. How tall are you? Six one. He's perfect. You would give more though. Height. You would be a little taller. Where I would, would you taller, put yeah. the two inches? Yeah. <laughs> would you add two inches to your height or to your dick? Two inches to my dick. Four inches to your dick or your height. <laughs> Four inches to. Now we're up to six. <laughs> my height. Okay. The I'd be six six then. No, six six five. I'd be your height. Six five. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want a twelve inch dick. But I get jealous of what he wears because I can never wear like a Chelsea boot with a heel. I'll never do that. Yeah. I don't want to add height to it. So it's kind of like where I'm at. That's the struggle that I have in my life. But like, do you like going to the bar and everyone can always see you? No one loses you. I hate it. I slouch. You're, oh, yeah, you don't want to slouch. Quick Ooh. question. Uh, we talk about like boyfriend dick, how like with girls, we actually don't want it to be that girthy, that yes. big. Like it's yeah. funny for a second and then you're like, <laughs> it's okay. It's funny for a second. <laughs> yeah, it's like, ooh, wow. And then you're like, I don't need to do a whole breathing routine to like insert it this in. inside me. Right. Are gays the same with size where like you don't want someone too big to no, just I love rip a, apart I love your butthole? Average, average yeah. normal dick. Yes. Or like- I unfortunately didn't get what I asked for though. You got, what do you mean? He's My big. boyfriend has an above average penis. Yes, yeah, mm. very large. People don't talk enough about curves, how curves really do add. On the dick? Yeah. It has to curve up a little bit yeah. at the end, I to think. To hit your G spot? To hit your G <laughs> to hit your, what, to hit your woe spot. Yeah. We got to break, we got to do a boyfriend reveal for you. What's that mean? It means where we reveal your boyfriend to the world. We talk about him every show. No one knows who he is. Oh, no one He's never who posted he is. him online. So why don't you post him? I don't want to. I like keeping my life private. private you private. are a very private person. Yeah. No, I would never. You're kind of like Meghan Markle. She's like, I don't want attention. Yeah, I don't need that. Yeah. I hate, would hate that. <laughs> yeah. I like having my, my private You are life. the Meghan Markle of Barstool yeah. Sports. Thank you. You I'm think so? With that. You... Yeah, I know so. Wait. Are I'm you... half black. Does he <laughs> want... <laughs> Does he really not want to be in the public eye? Yeah. No, no, yeah, that plus I don't want anyone. It would no be one. a red flag if he was like, can you tag me in that? Yeah, no, sick. Sick. If you have social media, like that's an automatic no for me. He has no social media. He does, but like it's like private. It's, like it's, it's like the photos are old. Him and his goofy it's, friends yeah. like posting like pictures of when they go hang out. Does he stuff. Snapchat? Yeah. He's young. Yeah, yeah. When we He's go, young. we were at the parade. People were taking more pictures on Snapchat than anything else. Snapchat's very big, but you do Snapchat. You do I love filters Snapchat. On Snapchat. I like the filters on there. They have great fonts for um <laughs> when you want to make like a when you want to make like a. Uh, you know, a post or something like that. All different kinds of fonts. Mm. Um, great, great filters. Great. Um, <laughs> so when you he, want to make a post, they got fonts. He works for Snapchat. Yeah, I do. You, know, you work for Snapchat. I do. I work the door. I'm a, I'm a manager, assistant manager. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's fun. I like Snapchat. I can't do another app. I've hit my limit. Yeah. What do you want? Many. Well, you don't, you're married. I'm TikTok. TikTok. Instagrams. And I've just started YouTube and it's scary over there. I mean, you just started YouTube. Like I never post on YouTube before and I just started. Do you have a person posting for you? Um, I have a girly who cuts clips, but I cut my stand up clips. But I finally am having someone help me. You're a crowd work stuff. Like when Jesse Kirsten does her crowd work. Well, Jesse's my wild. idol. She's yeah, on, she's 450,000 in half in But half she a should year. have 4 million. Yes. Like she's an yep. icon. Yes. But these, a lot of these older comics, they didn't never post it a lot. Right. But she. She's actually one of the people that like early on in my comedy career was like, I love you. I believe in you. And she puts on other women and gays. She's the best. So like, yeah. I just think she's amazing. I know. I love her. She's her, one of my favorite her guests. Her crowd works will just go out and just, it'll just be. It's so funny. Okay. Oh, Whatever. when she turns around to the wall. Have you yeah. seen her? Do <laughs> talk, yes. talk to herself. She turns around and will be like, Jessica, why did you say that joke? You know, it's not funny. <laughs> yeah. It never works anytime. Yeah. It's iconic. <laughs> Everything she does. Um, but she's so sweet. Like she'll, when she roasts someone, you'll see in a clip, like she'll take a moment to smile at them, to like, let them know, like, mm -hmm. I'm not just trying to. 
take I them specialize down. kind of in it's easier to be mean to men. Yes. So like when a man shows up and now the girls are starting to bring their boyfriends and the boyfriends are just like, oh, she funny. And they're like, yeah. And then they come and they bring them front row. And I'm like, you set his ass up. And I like that. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. I just go. But then the guys always enjoy it. You yeah. know, um, so I've crowd work is also because you get bored saying the same jokes every night. Yeah. So you start you to just, just fuck it around up and read the room and have everyone kind of involved. But in I it. do have to say people think crowd work is like so impressive i think it's easier than telling jokes jokes you have to actually have like a structure oh for yeah. sure uh, this is just banter uh, right. banter is what we do it's like podcasting you do it every day yeah. and you're the one with the mic so you can control the narrative yeah, yeah i, I like agree pe people will like you did a little at our well we always like do at our work. shows it's you guys like they eat, out of, they eat out of the palm of your yeah. it's like they're there to laugh for you yeah they're drinking like no matter what you say they're gonna yeah and i feel yeah. like it's more of inclusive like as an audience member yep. to have everyone kind of in on together to kind of feel yes, like part of the you show. do some callbacks yes. yeah and yeah you bring them up you break them down you and bring then them like back later up. on later on the show you can like re re refer back to like that per that conversation you have with that person mm -hmm. so it's fun keep things and keep some people you could tell they're gonna be good in the front some people don't want to bring it and that's right. fine. Also, I can smell fear. So some boyfriends won't be making eye contact with me and then I have to <laughs> yeah, say break, something. I have to say something to them. So yeah, it's been it's been fun for meeting people on the road. Are you and Des are you and Des looking for a third? A <laughs> unicorn? A unicorn? Does he do you guys work together? So on the road? We're going to when it's a cool when I say cool place, it means like he has friends there. Yeah. He he likes the place. Like he went to Nashville with me, he went to Miami with me, he's going to Salt Lake City with me. Um, so he comes occasionally. I couldn't get him to go to Richmond. I couldn't get him to go to <laughs> Richmond. You couldn't sell him on Richmond, Virginia? Because <laughs> he also has his own shit going on. Yeah. But it's it's nice to be working and be in the green room with like him as opposed to like maybe two comics I don't know. And it's a lot of time. I hear yeah. your sisters. Yeah. And then you can smash in the green room. Yeah. Well, where can everyone get tickets to all your shows? Oh my Tell God, go us. to hannahburner.com. I'm going to Boston. I'm also going to be in Vegas. I'm going to... I'm actually going to Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Ooh. Louisville. Yes. Damn. You might have to come with me. I would love that. Um, but yeah, and check out my Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. I love it. You heard it here first. Go follow Hannah Burner, all socials, and uh, make sure to get our tickets to our show. <laughs> Hannah's going to be there, so she's opening for us. Yeah. <laughs> April 27th. <laughs> a tight Nashville. five. A tight five. Thanks, you, Hannah. Thanks to you, Hannah. Thank you. Thank to you. Thanks to you.